The coronavirus not only poses a threat to our physical health, but dealing with the ongoing pandemic and its associated social distancing can put our mental health in jeopardy as well. As our next guests know, if you're already dealing with mental health concerns, everything going on in our world lately can increase feelings of anxiety and isolation. Christy Luth is this year's NAMI Walks co-chair, the NAMI South Dakota board chairperson, and a Southeastern Behavioral Health staff member. She's joining us today in the studio. And NAMI South Dakota Executive Director Wendy Giebink and Mallory Kluchik, NAMI's Ending the Silence Coordinator, are joining via Zoom. They're here to tell us how you can still support people in South Dakota living with mental health concerns and the organization that is dedicated to providing resources to anyone who reaches out for help. Welcome. It's a really important subject right now. The more we struggle with mental health, the more isolation can really affect us. And your walk this year looks a little bit different. Tell us about this virtual walk. It does look a little different because traditionally we have our walk as a celebration in the park. Oftentimes people with mental illness feel alone and um, we want to come together. So a little bit different, we are doing this virtually on May 30th. Um, nationally, there are 33 other affiliates um, promoting this walk on that same day. So what that will look like is live stream videos from our band six feet over on uh, 10.30 to 11.30 on that day, um, posting pictures, um, going for walks, whether that's in your backyard, on a treadmill, or through the neighborhood, and encouraging people to get as involved as they can. And this is a really important fundraiser for NAMI, but it's also just about showing up and taking that stigma down and letting people know that you support them in mental health and that everybody does deal with mental health. So tell me how that's going to look this year and how people can really show up for this and, and do things that show their support. Absolutely. So um, part of that showing up is really feeling that connectiveness. And so that's why we are doing a live stream on May 30th. Um, we encourage people to get on our NAMI Walks page and to sign up for a team, um, sign up to be a participant, and just reaching out to family and friends to talk about mental illness and start that conversation. Get involved as much as you can. And this would be a great way to also share pictures and you mentioned, you know, chalk, chalk in the sidewalk and, and anything you can do just to lift this event up. Absolutely. Wendy, let's talk a little bit about mental health right now and, and the other things that NAMI is doing to help. Sure. So, you know, we know that people are struggling, people who have a diagnosed mental illness, as well as people who maybe have never uh, struggled before with feelings of anxiety or depression or just feeling really isolated. And so we, um, we've tried to pivot our uh, programs to be all online for the time being which has been a challenge for us as it has been for everybody else, but we are really excited about some of the things we have happening. Um, we have our very first podcast that uh, went live today that can be accessed. It's called Why We NAMI, and it can be accessed on our website and then also any of the regular podcast apps you might listen to. We have our first um, virtual support group happening on Thursday of this week, so we're looking forward to getting more support groups out there. Uh, moving our education classes online. <clears throat> and then we also have a number of wellness activities that are happening through, uh, through Zoom. Um, and they're advertised on our Facebook page. We have some things we're posting on our YouTube channel. We've got <clears throat> all of our social media channels kind of up and running so that we can be a support and help people feel connected during this time. We often think of mental illness as, as something that we're just dealing with alone. We feel a little isolated, but in fact, it affects more than just ourselves. It continues to affect everyone in the community. Can you tell me a little bit more about this ripple effect that you talk about? Sure. Well, you know, we sometimes people think that it's, this isn't and if this isn't something that affects my family. When in truth, mental illness affects one in five adults and one in five youth in a given year. So every family is touched in some way or in our communities, um, our neighbors, our coworkers. Um, mental illness is the number one cause of disability worldwide, number one cause of absenteeism for employers. Um, it affects everyone. And so um, it is important to talk about, as you mentioned, to, to um, open that conversation and just start talking about mental health as, um, as important as any other aspect of our health. It, all the more reason to sign up for the walk this year because even if you don't think it affects you, it does affect you and someone you love probably. Yes. Mallory, let's talk a little bit about the Ending the Silence program. 
Yeah, so our, our Ending the Silence program is a presentation we do for middle school and high school students, along with the teachers and parents. And it's a great uh, presentation that brings awareness and provides some of that education to really help the, the stigma that's associated with, with mental health challenges. And you also, I know Wendy talked about launched the podcast this morning and you're pretty involved in the podcast. What kinds of things are we gonna be seeing in the, or hearing I should say in the podcast? Yeah, so the podcast is uh, a, a great tool for us to really help um, people stay connected, uh, stay informed and stay well. And especially at this point where uh, we're all kind of physically distancing from ourselves, it's, it's just a great tool for us to highlight uh, a person, uh, whether they're someone who's living with a mental health challenge or perhaps it's a professional or a family member um, to really highlight uh, just their life and, and what they're doing to stay well and then just provide some some background information and just just a, a nice lighthearted um, uh, method to really help connect us together. Now this walk has been going on for a while and I would expect that you usually hear year after year people come say you know it just made me feel like I was part of something I felt supported people came and gathered around me and we can't do that this year but we are still gonna be able to do it virtually. How many people do you think will be joining you or do you have a goal to get people involved? Well, we have about 138 participants at this point. Um, we're definitely wanting to increase that. I mean, we've had walk years with, you know, 300, 400 people um, at, in the park before. So it would be nice to really expand that. Mm -hmm. um, it's an extra treat for us this year because it is national. So there will be participants nationwide online as well, sharing their stories, sharing some recovery and celebrating with us. So it definitely is a community and we're hoping to stay united. I think we've all felt that anxiety and everything going on with the pandemic and we know personal stories of people that have really been affected by their mental health illness during this. So if we can come together, I think for this walk and really support everybody. And you know, I think all of us can identify right now with feeling some anxiety, at least a little bit. Yes. So I hope this is gonna be like the biggest year ever. We're just gonna all come together. So everybody yes. go do it. Yes, Definitely join my go. team. If you join. Like. <laughs> we can all join Christy's team. Yes. If you don't have a team, you can join Christy's. This is gonna be a fun year. I'll definitely make sure that I make time to be there too. Absolutely, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, and thank you for joining me in Zoom too. Thank you. Thanks. There's still plenty of time to get walking from anywhere and participate in the 2020 virtual NAMI Walk South Dakota event on Saturday, May 30th, beginning at 11 a.m. Simply follow along on their social media at Facebook and Twitter or join the live feed at namiwalks.org slash South Dakota. Remember, every step taken is in the right direction when we all join forces to raise money and awareness for mental illness. While we can't walk in person, NAMI's programs and advocacy are needed now more than ever.